Getting started with a donation deck here. Donation deck from Luxac Games. This is, uh, I, before I get into the deck, if you're interested in doing a donation deck, head over to my Twitch page, twitch.tv slash EWLandon, and you can uh, find the donation panel under the video part on the Twitch page, and that will give you instructions on the different options and how to do a donation deck. All right, so this deck from Luxat Games is, we're calling it Mono Blue Rogues. There are four different creatures in the deck, and they're all rogues. True Name Nemesis, four of. Invisible Stalker, four of. Slither Blade, four of. These two cannot be targeted by your opponent's spells, so that's cool. And Slither Blade can't be blocked. Uh, and so the point of this deck... No Spire Golem. I don't know what Spire Golem... Is that the, the new creature? Anyway, uh, with Trample? That could be good. Anyway, uh, the point of this deck is to play one of your unblockables and put a Curious Obsession on it. And you have eight of those. Curious Obsession and Curiosity are the same. Curious Obsession gives plus one, plus one. But you lose it if you don't attack, so you should attack. Curious Curiosity doesn't have those things on it, but they both draw you cards. Affinity for Islands. Interesting. So that's what you're doing with this deck, and then on top of that, there's a bunch of counter magic. Six forces main, four dazes, four spell pierce, uh, and six cantrips, as well as a little bit of mana acceleration and a couple wastelands. Sorry, it's six mana. Oh, affinity for islands, so it costs less than six mana. Interesting. But it doesn't have unblockable or hexproof, so I don't. I think that's probably why it's not played. And in the sideboard, we have snapback. Return target creature to its owner's hand. It's got the force of will subtext for free cast. Four back to basics. A brazen borrower. Two more Force Negations, a Commandeer, which is an interesting one. You may exile two blue cards from your hand rather than pay its spell or its cost. Gain control of target creature, or non-creature spell. You may choose new targets for it. You gain control of the spell. So, like, somebody casts a spell and then uh, you cast this, and so now it's like you're casting the spell. A couple GTAs and some, some Graveyard Hate. Also, there's some Echoing Truth in the main. Which I wonder if those should be Brazen Borrower. Anyway, that is the deck. And we're going to go ahead and... And start playing it. Luxet Games took down a 1k with this. Commandeer Escape Ship. Does that... That doesn't do what... That doesn't do anything. Does it? You want to commandeer a reanimate. Or an animate dead. And then you get Gristlebrand. Then it's like you're playing reanimator. Alright. Huh. How many lands are we playing? 16 and chrome boxes. Uh, I think we need more lands. Hello. We have a bunch of counter magic. And we have this. Maybe we just keep this. We just try and counter some stuff until we find our land. Let's try it. Oh, well, Magic Michael probably plays Death and Taxes, which is. Maybe this, maybe this hand's okay. I don't know. At least they can't target our invisible stalker. Land. <laughs> All right. Maybe I should have dazed because I wasn't guaranteed a land drop. I just was very hopeful. What's up, Gase 
see great how goes it curiosity is the next best thing I know probably shouldn't f6 oh boy that's fine all right one we got a turn here let's draw that freaking land before they just poured us to death. Yes, chrome box or land, please. I have 18. 18 hits, and then we can totally win. Oh god. This is what I get for keeping. It four, four counter spells, one land, and an invisible stalker and curiosity. I think it was close. All right. Well, we have another chance. These should be one of these should be a forcible for crying out loud, to punish them tapping out there. God. I feel like. I just concede. Because they're gonna have swords of plowshares. Okay, maybe you're right. We can steal the monarchy and just play out the slither blade. No. Well, they are. Ooh. I think it gives them somewhat useful information because uh, they probably, based on them slamming this as opposed to porting us, it makes me think they thought I was on miracles or something like that, blue whitish. And I'm not sure we're winning here. Land. All right. Yeah, because I'm just gonna concede now. This is. This isn't going anywhere. Yeah. I kept the hand knowing I needed to draw a land fairly within the first three or four turns and just didn't get there. Uh, let's see, force negation seems pretty bad. Spell pierce. What can we bring in though? I guess we bring in a brazen borrower. Yeah, it's not terrible, but it's also three mana maybe. Could try common gear. Seems medium. Can turn their fort. Their so this can turn their swords into killing their things. Or we can get a GTA or something or a sword. How do we beat sword? Snapbacks are great. Try this. <laughs> okay. Would you keep this? We have two lands this time, and a force, and an echoing truth, and three slither blades. Mole. Okay. This looks better. That's what I was thinking. 
I think we just leave up Spell Pierce for a uh, vial. Okay, I'll take your word on it. I think leaving up Spell Pierce and then having Spell Pierce on turn two as well for swords seems better because like the spell pierce is going to get real dead real soon because of this vial well they have the vial that's like our one target for it i guess that's good They have flicker wisps and stuff. Try decklist DN solver. Flicker wisps definitely gonna suck. They have the two mana oh no, the two mana one is for their creatures. Can't port Mox. Yes, you're right. But I don't think I'm playing the Mox. Not yet. How are we gonna beat a flicker wisp from that from that aether vial? It's the real question. They don't have it, okay. Echoing Truth on the bottom of the deck, though. So we have like a Brazen Borrower and a second Echoing Truth, and that's it. Uh, I mean, if we don't force it, any creature. Oh, this thing's unblockable. Never mind. Sather Battle's a huge annoyance. Imagine if I just kept up Spell Pierce. <laughs> hey, there's the true name you just asked for. There's two of them. You forgot to mention that we also kind of need a land. I mean, honestly, I think we're probably not winning this one. They have a sword coming down. Maybe we will win. No, 
it doesn't. Yes, they have an actual sword. We are mono blue. They're clearly going to get a sword first. Possible our clock is better. Possible but not ultra likely. Yeah, we should have a two turn clock. But if they hit a flicker wisp, we're in trouble. Rip GT. Yeah, I agree with that. I think I just leave up force and stuff. Heck you for one or two, draw four, discard two, go. <laughs> Am I going to commandeer a vial or a sword or a, or a GT or a sword supply shares? Imagine if they swords my dude with the, and they have a sword on their dude and I just sword their dude.
I think there's a lot of things. It's not like it's a game plan, but it is a... Uh, it's only a one of I mean. It's not a game plan. I mean, they don't always cast their DK, but they do sometimes. And also, if they have a sword, a fire knife on their dude... Um, a sword, a fire knife on their dude... We can commandeer. Hmm... One, two, three. We'll put Preordain in the middle because that's the card we'd like to pitch to force. If we don't have to force something here. Wasteland. I think I force a Thalion, that's about it. Because I don't have enough lands. To... Oh, actually, I don't need to force a Thalia. I'll force that. Actually, I have an Echoing Truth. I'll just force that. Hopefully they don't have a, uh, that's fine now, it's just a bit late, a little late to the party. I think we save the snapback for, for when they do something else. We don't. If we had a land, we could plan for that. Why would that be bad news? It would just come back on attached to it. Yeah, I think snap end of turn seems okay, but do we do with preordain or echoing truth? No, it wouldn't make you sack it. I think we just get rid of Preordain. We have raw card draw here. We can echoing through something scary later.
That's pretty good. Our hand's like pretty stacked now. Imagine if they play a sword. God, I hope they play a sword. That'd be so sweet. Or an answer to Jite. We can answer their vial instead. Seems pretty good. Or that. So what's gonna happen here? Then drawing a land would be sweet here. Nice. Now we just kill, every time they try and equip something, we just kill it. It's a good point. I am enjoying it so far, yes. I hope we don't get another council's judgment on us though, because that would be bad times. That's true. That is totally true. Days. What are we gonna do? We can just keep this one in our hand, huh? gonna be so sad Drawing the right cards. Drawing all the cards.
They're certainly not the wrong ones. I will. It'll be on my YouTube. He'll find it if he wants it. Ooh, that's a good one, too. All the right cards. I don't want to put it on the Hexproof one because of uh, Council Judgment. They're going to be so sad. Watch this equip. Watch this equip. Do fairies, do fairies balance infinite? Can you go infinite with fairies? With two fairies? Bra Brazen Borrower? Oh, uh, no. Opponent controls. Opponent controls. I am too, Gracie. Although I think we should have Brazen Borrowers in the main. That card seems great. It's an echoing truth that turns into a 3-1. I think the only time Echoing Truth really comes up is against, like, Tess. So then, maybe Echoing Truth should be in the graveyard. Is Storm a good matchup? Okay. How about the Mentor deck? That's more popular than Miracles these days. Yeah, I mean... You have eight forces and three surgicals. And a lot of card draw. I'm gonna try this. We have our combo. Yeah, I can see that. Mentor is definitely a good, good clock against uh, us. I mean, once we get our engine going, depending on what we're playing against. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I guess I have to force that. All right, we need to uh, draw our Echoing Truth soon, but not until not until after they've thought seized us. You know what I mean? Like, 
Actually, I just hope they don't thought seize us. Stronghold Gambit. That's a weird one for this deck. And by weird, I mean bad. Nick shit depths. Why does it ask me if I want to? Of course I want to. Of fucking course I want to draw a card. Jesus. Pass the turn. Yes. Maybe I'm supposed to pre-order in first for more curiosities. Yeah, whoops. That's okay. Hmm. Always yield, always yes? Okay. Bottom two. I don't know. They only have two mana. I think we want that daze. Or potentially both. Well, we're going to draw a bunch of cards next turn. So we, we can draw one of these and then draw one for our turn. And then we draw two more next turn. We don't really want lands. I feel like these might be good. I'm going to put both on top, actually. the green sun zenith here so i look like a genius fuck <laughs> oh hexproof yeah shit my bad Now I don't look like a genius because we could have forced that. Yeah, but it could have easily been like a green sun zenith as well. I, I don't... I think just because they had a hex mage doesn't mean that I did the wrong thing there. They were stuck on mana. And they weren't doing anything. We weren't getting there anyway. I guess the force would have been nice, but they would have just put it back on top. Is that everything we want? We don't actually want these back to basics, do we? Chite? I don't think we want Chite either. Spell Don't you you said they're Nick fit, so I don't 
I don't think we went back to basics. I don't think that's correct. I think we'd rather just surgical their depths and bounce their 2020s. And force creatures and stuff. Minus four spell pierce. So for a third surgical. I really don't think you want back to basics. We can try one. Actually, it doesn't seem good at all. I'd rather play surgical. They have chrome mox. They have... They showed some signs of Nickfit, the fact that they played that land. There are three lands that they played. One of them looked like a Nickfit land. This has three bounce spells, but I actually think it's a mulligan. Stronghold and Wasteland? Well... Surgical also stops Stronghold, and Wasteland isn't a real card against us. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a good enough reason to play it. Oh dear god. At least we have a Wasteland. Okay, this seems like a keep. Doesn't have a clock, which sucks, but at least has a, at least has a plan. Alright, now it kind of has a clock. Kind of, almost, sort of. Almost kind of, sort of. I'm not going to surgical this, even though I really hope they don't play another one. I mean, Safekeeper stops our stuff, yeah. Doesn't mean we can't try. I think we're gonna lose to uh, Depths if we if we do that. I think if we waste land that stage, we're dead to a Depths and a Hex Mage. I'd much rather try and try and answer our depths with a wasteland since I'm not gonna be able to answer it with bounce spells. It'll be harder.
Why does that come in at instant speed like that? What's going on? I, don't, I have no idea what the fuck is going on here. Oh. Oh, it's... He's casting it off that land. That's why it looks like that. Man, this card's problematic. I don't know how I'm racing. so dead. Sack this bad boy. Sack it. Not gonna sack it. I mean, they're obviously not going to. They saw this. I know it's gonna die, but... I don't see any way of winning. Ooh. It's a nice one. Gracie Gray with the sub. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. That's awesome, thank you. I think we're gonna lose this match though, unfortunately. That's fine, there's more matches coming, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we're in the next three. And hopefully they fucking green sun zenith for a lot here. Green Sun for three, we can daze. Uh, Plague Engineer we can mostly ignore, although I'm not sure we're racing, but we can like try and bounce this and then they'll sack a land and then we can daze something. I mean, we have to try and race somehow.
Shit. Also shit. Big shit. I guess I have to get the land, even though I have an obsession on top. They didn't get any black sources, that's weird. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't bring it in. There was no way it was gonna be good. They have Chrome Mox as well, and like very few ba non-basics. Huh, we would've probably put that on there. So dead. Yeah, if we hit two true names into another pomp or something, could have got there. Where was all the mana? I mean, eventually we drew it. They just had three, like, problematic creatures that game. And our, we mold and didn't have a real... We just had a hateful hand that doesn't beat the frickin' uh, protection dude. Should have brought in GTA, I guess. Somebody mentioned it. It would have been good against that thing. You didn't. You said spell based combo, but we're playing against JPA. Is that. Does that count? The master, the show and tell master, is that really what we want to play against? Yes, we keep this. Is that too many lands? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This sucks. I think we need two forces though. 
So if we keep this, we can force pitching Invisible Stalker and then have Force of Negation up. But then we have to draw this land. And if we don't, and if we, if we don't have to force this turn, then we can play Invisible Stalker and have Force of Will pitching Echoing Truth. Although it, Invisible Stalker with nothing on it seems pretty bad. Although I just don't think we're winning without multiple forces. He only has five cards. The shuffle's gonna find more lands anyway. Well, but we're gonna have to force, like, trust me. We're gonna have to find the curiosity later. We're gonna have to get through this this force part of the game, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna keep these. I mean, if we shuffle, there's a good chance we're drawing a land in the top three anyway. This, this has a plan, like we can go turn to invisible. If we force, we can pitch invisible stalker and then we have force of negation up. And if we don't force, then we can force pitching echoing truth and then have force of negation up the following turn. Well, we don't have two forces this turn. I'm saying we can, I'm saying we can force pitching invisible stalker and then we have force of negation up the following turn. Or we can play Invisible Stalker and Force Pitching Echoing Truth and then have Force of Negation up the following turn. So I think there's a plan here. It's not great, but I think it's better than a Shuffle. If he spell pierces, I might want to have Echoing Truth for this. Oh no, that won't do anything. Yeah, but Negation also costs three, like, you can recast it. You can't recast it. Force negation costs three mana, so we have it. If we, if this resolves, we have it. Obviously, I'm I'm not playing the mocks there. You guys are missing my my whole reason for keeping the the hand. I keep saying I have two forces of over the course of two turns, which I think is a reason to keep it. Anyway. I don't like surgicals. I get sneak and show. Slither blade is gas. What to cut, what to cut? Like preordain or something? Or chrome mox? No. True, true name? Okay, fair. I feel like it lowers our threat too, but yeah. If anything, I just could have not played my thing. Um. I guess I'm keeping this.
think I just do this. I hope he doesn't have the turn two. He's probably not going to jam it if he does. Unless he has counter magic as well. Just kidding. GG's. Yes, it was, Daniel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Yeah. I'm guessing he jammed because he thought there's no way he wins if unless it resolves right there. Echoing Truth doesn't do anything. We have no answers to Emrakul other than to sack a lot of stuff and then kill him. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's no way. That sucks. I do think jamming on my side was right because if I untap, I'm probably winning and it's pretty unlikely that he, j he has it and also I have to not draw any counter magic. He has to have the turn two and he has to be willing to jam it into a blue deck. All of which seems semi-unlikely. All three of them happening. But they did and we lost. We have eight forces and, and uh, four dazes. Slither Blade not being a hexproof kind of sucks. So we're playing against Storm.
Hey, wait a minute. You said... You said you wanted to play against Spellbase, and we just got completely wrecked by JPA. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we're I mean, you saw what happened when we pondered the next turn. We saw like five counter spells. Well, JPA is just really good and probably realized like if we untap, we're going to win, so you might as well jam. Slitherblade making Ad Nauseam worse since 2018, hell yeah. I should have put True Name on top, but whatever. Here's hoping that I'm playing Therapy. Sometimes you see random therapies, though, even with the thoughts, uses, and duresses. Some people like to play a therapy or two. I'm not too worried about it, though. Otherwise, I would have... I don't know. Yeah, it's not common enough to really worry about, basically. All right. Here, I think we end up probably winning. Probably. Possible I'm supposed to counter that, but I like being a little bit greedy here. Unfortunately, this one I'm... I mean, if they have Pass and Flames, I'm probably gonna lose.
That's not the end of the world. Should make it pretty easy from here, actually. I just have to stop their mana. Yeah, it seems like Curious Obsessions are always a good draw because you get to draw more and more cards. Nice. Yeah, this pumping it out of um, Plague Engineer range is pretty important. I don't hate Brazen Borrower. Instead of true name just just because it has flash. Everything seems pretty good though, I guess. I guess. What do we cut though? All the true names? Uh, I mean, you can steal their discard spells. I know. It's for discard spells, but okay. Go. All right, we have threats. We're only missing curious obsessions. If I draw an island here, I'm going to wasteland them. I don't 
like doing it. When I need lands. Hmm. Shuffle? No. I don't think we shuffle this. Right, but they can beat they can beat two counter spells. We don't have we have two. We have one and a half counter spells. We don't have a lot of counter spells. Of course I don't know where to find your tooth and nail list, Oren. Is that even a real question? Okay, I will. I got you, Orm. I got you, Orm. We have Preordain and Ponder for next turn. We have a Force of Will, a Daze, and, a, and uh, yeah, for this turn. Should be okay. They're gonna take the force if they car stuck ritual. I have to daze it. I'd love to just draw a land here. Interesting. I need to land. I don't need to, to, to waste my period in like that. I can just keep up spell pierce now. Then I can preordain the Chrome Mox next turn. Kind of shields down here. We just have a spell pierce. It's not that good. It's very easy for Storm to be the spell pierce if they have a mana and discard. Luckily, they don't seem to have it. So, all right, Orm, I got it. Hoof and nail. Are you ready for it after this league? Also, what the fuck, man? <laughs> You're really trying to ruin my day. By making me go, oh, in a million.
No, not Gracie. This, I, I, I could win with decks like this, Gracie. I can't win with decks that Orm sends me. This, I'm just keeping track of how many more uh, donation decks Orms ha has. He had 11 total. Now we're gonna win. But his decks, he wins with them, with Nick Fit and garbage like that. I cannot win with that kind of stuff. All right, the clock is on. The clock is on. Did I play the island before we drew? I'm just going too quickly. But anyway, we only have one wasteland left. I mean, to be fair, they didn't... <laughs> There's our wasteland. To be fair, they didn't draw or play anything either game, so... Like, this game, I feel like... Like, if we were playing against Sires, for example, we would have lost game two there, because there was a point in the game where we just had a spell pierce, and they have to be pretty unlucky to not be able to... They had six cards in their hand. But also, Cyrus wouldn't be playing Talisman. Is it ever wrong to surgically discard? Well, they play more than one, so usually, yeah. If they play more than one of the thing you're surgically and you have zero information, it's usually wrong. Oh, man. This hand almost looks good. Uh, fuck. Well, this hand... Kind of sucks though. I feel like we need Stalker because if they're playing a deck with removal spells, we need to have something better to to put our stuff on. Although it kind of looks like they're playing uh, show and tell again, so I'm just gonna play this out and, and find out. Ten turn clock. It's Delver. GG's. GG's. I mean, can we ever beat this? I guess we have True Name Nemesis. Feels real wrong to force here. Just gonna daze us and then we're just gonna lose. Do you, fist, do you pitch invisible stalker so that you don't lose to a daze? I disagree. It's either force pitch spell pierce. Because that's probably not going to do anything. Or force pitching invisible stalker so we can fight against the daze. But then we're just going to lose to a bolt. There's almost no way we're winning this. At least we traded forces for force instead. Curious Obsession. Alright. The 
Problem with Curious Obsession is we're just going to lose to a bolt. Hopefully they bolt our thing before we Curious Obsession. I hope they play a Ren in six and we draw a Curious Obsession. Wow, they are just bolting. Seems seems real wrong. So we're playing against Chain Lightning, huh? Hell yeah. That's not horrible. Maybe they have to cantrip into another bolt and then we daze it. True name. No! GG's. I told you we were going to lose to a bolt. What a bummer. I guess we could find our own true name and win. Doubled the clock, doubled our clock. It's almost worth forcing. Let's draw a freaking true name. Let's draw our own true name, please. True name off the top, one time. Or at least Invisible Stalker. Now we lose. True name. How many more turns do you think we have to draw a true name before it's too late? This is probably it, right? Because even then, a true name into Curious Obsession. I guess if we draw a true name into True Name. We play four true names. Right, I don't like back to basics against Delver, but if they're in the sideboard, this would be the matchup they're for, I guess. Maybe not. Let's try this. Uh, 
Oh boy. I think uh, Brazen Borrower just does that like way, way better. It's a hand, but it's potentially bad against um, Lightning Bolt. That's not a Lightning Bolt. I don't like playing Obsession because it just literally just loses to Bolt. I think we want another creature. Spell Pierces are good against Bolt. I think we're just trying to beat Bolt for the most part. Coast looks pretty clear now. Right, well we don't we don't know their hand. Now we have information. Also my play played around spell pierce, like I think I think I'm on the right track here. I played Island for a reason this time. Because I have two spell pierces. Let's drop. Freaking yeah! Yeah! What's up? We're doing it? Is this it? I think we're doing it. Oh, this time I shouldn't have played it. But again, I'm playing around soft counters. Um, but I should have tried to draw a Wasteland this turn. Especially since I'm drawing two cards and I had the mana for the Spell Pierce and their Spell Pierce. What's up, Honig Bear? Is Nimizid in this deck? I wish. You got it. I won't play a land this time. I will just attack. Slither Blade! Why is there an Ancient Grudge? I don't know. But that's why I shuffled away my GTA. LOL. Got that one back to basics right when we wanted it. Right when they no longer get to play.
I'm not bringing in more back to basics, even though it was good there, because we were going to win with the true name as well. But this was just a nice play. Yeah. Back to basics is much better against, like, I don't think it's that good right now, actually. You might want to... I would consider it fewer in the sideboard, because it's good against, like, Grixis control, but those decks just play so many basics now. I'm leaving in the GTAs. I mean... Maybe... GTA seems too good to, to, to cut. They did show us an Ancient Grudge, but... We can counter it, I guess. Maybe. Maybe we want it like this. Yeah, we're gonna play. We're gonna play a second back to basics. It cheats some wins. It also is better against their ancient grudge. Yikes! Well, I think we're keeping this and hoping to find some mana. That's why there's two Chrome Mocks, exactly for that reason. Glad they didn't play a Delver on turn one. Land. Oh my god. Okay, we got this. We got double days for our invisible stalker. Hopefully they don't play anything good here. Yes. Why did they play their land first? They went two on the bottom. They probably should have played their, oh, because they're playing around days. Hopefully they shuffle and play another cantrip. Or I guess at this point a Delver, we can probably beat a Delver. Maybe be a Delver? Have you tried a deck like this in Modern? No Shuffle. Bolt's bad. I think, yeah. It was a gold, it would, Bolt would have been really good for them game one and two. So that's why I think this invisible soccer hand is going to be really good. Now the real question is, what do they have? And do I daze something here, even if they can pay? I'm not going to daze that. I'd love to daze a goyf. Wowzer. Let's draw some forces now. Land's not the worst. It's also not the worst. Could be better. Can't wait to waste in that green source and then like brazen borrow or their goif. Well, 
red. Hexproof. Red. Hexproof. Hexproof. I think it's close. If they cast a goyf, we might be able to race. Probably draw enough shit that we can race it. Sure thing. <laughs> I think I could just ignore that. Well, actually... We'll see if I can kill it. Makes my wasteland worse. Let's get used out of these dazes, huh? I think it's okay. I mean, what are they going to do now? They're going to need to put, like, Tarmogoyf and True Name into play and then drop bolts. Like, that's what they need to do. Because there's no way that this drawing four a turn when them at 13, like, it's going to be really hard for them to race. We, we can draw so many things. Yeah, True Name. Run in six... Put can represent a little bit of damage, but again, they don't have a clock yet, so... Don't think, like, holding up Spell Pierce or Wastelanding them when they can just buy it back seems any good. And we can always turn, like, a 1-1 one -one onto Renin 6 if it looks like they're gonna ultimate, because the ultimate could kill us with a bolt. Yeah, drawing all those lands was definitely not ideal. We actually drew five lands in a row. Hmm. Hmm. It's a little scary, but not that scary. Type in exclamation point deckless sunrays. You're very welcome. They dealt one point of damage to me? Why would they do that? Oh, they're trying to make me attack that? I have 38 cards left, Orm. We're good to go. We are good to go. They're bolting me here. Okay. I don't really see this winning the race.
Absolutely, Gracie. So the, uh, hold on a second. Luxat Games wrote an article about the deck. Pretty sweet. So go go nuts. Tell us where it's at, where to find it. I'll link it in the, the notes and stuff. Luxatgames.wordpress.com. Oh, thank you. I think we win. Uh. You know what's not gonna happen? Them winning without a threat? All right, so we three and two. And yes, Gracie, it's fun. I've tried before. I think, obviously, you've spent more time on it and probably built it better than I did. Um, and I've tried less dedicated Curious Obsession decks and more dedicated, like, uh, Hexproof. Like a Boggles deck. And, it, and I found that uh, if your creatures get countered, you end up with a bunch of enchantments in your hand. But this one is just more about, like, there's fewer enchantments, and they all just draw you cards. But that being said, it also can get a, a little bit awkward when your clock's really really slow and you're not drawing cards. So anyway, the deck's sweet. Uh, you can check out luxatgames.wordpress.com. I'm going to put this in, your, in our Facebook thing just so I can... Look at it later. You don't. You can ignore this. Uh, Lux at games. That's just for the when I put it up onto YouTube. But yeah, it was fun. I think you want fewer back to basics, and I think you want more brazen borrowers. That's my biggest input about the deck. And thank you, Gracie, for the donation deck. Good times. All right. Bye bye, YouTube. Don't forget if you want to do donation decks, go to my Twitch.tv slash EWN and check the uh, donation panel below the picture screen. It'll be down below and you'll find out how to do that and instructions and the different options. Thanks again.